Today I will show you how to install NetXMS server and client on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS version. First, let's start with opening NetXMS documentation. Documentation can be found on netxms.com. Support and services, documentation, latest. Under installation, under chapter planning, we can check which versions currently are supported by NetXMS. By default, NetXMS supports Ubuntu LTS versions that are currently supported by Ubuntu itself. And you can say that there is a bunch of other operating systems that are also supported by NetXMS by open source version as well as the list of the database that you can use uh, with NetXMS. In today's video, we will use Postgres SQL database. First, let's talk about NetXMS. NetXMS has server daemon, which collects data and does data processing. All the data is stored in the database. This data can be retrieved by the user and uh, shown as a graphs or some dashboards with help of web server NetXMS or NetXMS management client. We also call it rich client. In this video, I will show how to install database, in our case Postgres database, NetXMS server, which is installed together with the agent and the management console. First. Let's start with database installation. So here I am installing Postgres with the command line. I use super user access to opt install Postgres. Once Postgres is installed, we will continue with installation manual under installation from dep repository. We will install repository using dep package that will install together repository and its keys. By installing this way, we can be sure that if signed keys will be changed, they will be automatically updated from our own repository by updating this NetXMS release latest dep package itself. So first let's download this step package. Let's go to download folder and we'll download it here. Now let's install it. Now we will update our repositories. Here we can see that uh, NetXMS repository is added to the list of the available repositories. From now on, we can continue with installation itself. So first, we will install two packages, NetXMS server and uh, database driver for NetXMS server, Postgres SQL database driver, as we will use Postgres database as our server database. So here we can see that we will install not only NetXMS server, but also NetXMS agent as part of the NetXMS server installation. Once NetXMS server is installed, we will create database in the Postgres. I will open another terminal window and log in as a Postgres user. I entered my sudo password to log in as a Postgres user. Now we can use an examples to create NetXMS user. I will create NetXMS user with password NX password. Just remember to use secure password. <laughs> and I will create a database NetXMS with operating user NetXMS. After database is created, we can edit configuration file. In this configuration file, 
we should set credentials to this database. Here you can see I've opened a configuration file. It is in at xmsd.conf. Uh, here already is configured log file location. This one is default one. Here we can see some examples. In our case, we will use Postgres. So I just can uncomment this example and change password to the password I have set. Now we can save our configuration file. And next step is to init database. We just run an xdbmgr init. Here you can see two options, Postgres SQL and TimescaleDB. Usually we advise to use Postgres SQL, but if you know that you will have a huge data amounts, it might be wise to use TimescaleDB. This exact option is meant for large databases with a lot of data collected. It can increase performance of uh, data deletion from the database, as well as increase performance of the data storage. In our case, we will go with the first option. Our database is initialized successfully. Now we can start our daemon and then we can enable this daemon auto start. Let's go in the documentation. So here you can see the same steps. Let's start the XMS server and let's enable it auto start. Another thing that we should configure is dependency of NetXMS server service from the Postgres service. This means that the Postgres service should start before NetXMS server, as the database should be ready before the server starts. And uh, NetXMS server service should shut down before the Postgres database is shut down. If this won't be configured, then uh, NetXMS server might hang on shutdown because that Postgres uh, database is already shut down and uh, NetXMS server is waiting to write some data just before the shutdown. This is required only if NetXMS server is running on the same machine as Postgres SQL database. So let's do those steps. Let's edit configuration. Let's add the dependency. Let's save the file. And we will reload systemd. Now we have fully installed NetXMS server and as well NetXMS agent that was packed together with NetXMS server. So if we will check in our concepts this diagram, we have installed this part. Now we should have client that will be able to connect to the server to display the information and to able to configure this data collections. I will show two options. First option is to use Flatpak. Let's set up Flatpak first. Here we can see that to set up Flatpak, we should install this package. Next thing to do is to install Flatpak plugin for GNOME software application. Okay, now once we install the Flatpak package manager, we can install some applications. Here on the flathub.org, we can search for NetXMS. I've installed NetXMS latest version. This means I have NetXMS 5.0. Let's install it. As 
So now it's loaded. I can click install. Once application is installed, for me, it was required to log out from my user. And then login. But this logout and login is required only first time when you install Flatpak. So now we have NetXMS server running on the system. We have database and now I've installed the client. We can connect to the localhost with the default NetXMS user and password. Admin and NetXMS. First time you log in, it's required to change your admin password. Password successfully changed. And here we can see our management console. Here you can see already my node where NetXMS server is installed. We already are collecting automatically some data from the Linux because we have a NetXMS agent installed together with the server. So agent provides us information about CPU usage and file system usage, as well as we're collecting some server data like queue sizes and uh, performance information about uh, the server. So basically, this is full installation. I also wanted to show you another option, how to install console when you don't want to install Flatpak on your Ubuntu. In this case, it will be required to install Java. We we'll install OpenJDK 17 JRE. And it is required to download console from our website, netxms.com. Downloads. Standalone cross-platform jar file. So once we install Java, we can go to the folder where we have downloaded our jar file. Here it is. We should set executable flag for it. And now we can run console with the command java minus jar. Here we are. So at the same. And again, we are connected to the same server, just we're using a different console. This console is started from the command line with java minus jar and jar file of the console. And the previous one was installed from the Petflat pack. Uh, today, we were able to install NetXMS server together with the agent. We also have uh, installed Postgres database, initialized it started NetXMS server process and connected to the server with help of the rich management client. Thank you for your time.